Howdy, my friends. We have finally made it back to Master Tier. This is the game that Don Don did it. And your boy Don came out hard. Because believe it or not, this game, I didn't want to play. It was a little late at night. I was like, the last game I won had me at 99 LP. I was like, if I play the next game, I'm going to be so pissed if I, if I lose. Because I'm at 99. I was at 79 LP. I could not get just one more. One more, my friends. But we came out. We did it, baby. You're going to see how I did it. How I take control of this game. They wanted me to be masters. Let me tell you. And my friends, you can do it too. It's not that hard. It's it's a little annoying, definitely. But it's, it's really not that hard to be... To grow and get better at this particular game. So I'm just cutting them off. Let the jungle get it. Because uh, Viego's pretty weak. Uh, at least the Viegos I've played with. They've always been kind of weak. Like uh, just not very impactful. So to let him get the gold. Hopefully that'll do something. So here we are with the Ash. As my AD. Samira and Zyra. Definitely Zyra annoying. Uh, but you know we're gonna we're gonna see how we take advantage. She's weak. If we get on top of her, we could really do some damage. Poke her down. She has no sustain, so there's definitely gonna be options here to kind of whittle her down a little bit, especially with Ash W two, and then I can go in and blow her ass up. So that's what we're kind of doing here. Playing a little safe. Got the exhaust ignite, my friends. Oh, coming in. We see the echo. This is this is pretty interesting right here. Boom, he comes in. I'm ready with the exhaust to ignite the big backstab. He takes a shot. You're not level six, my guy. Why are you doing something so stupid? Who knows? Now I got both of the buffs. This allows me to poke with E, which is what I'm going to try and do. I don't have some, so you got to be careful here. That's why I just place the box. Get the E. I can regen that mana. No biggie. Get that gold. We're going to get a lot of pressure here in this bot lane. They want something. They don't know how strong Shaco is level one. Very strong. So here we go again. Now we get the mid laner here trying to dive. Okay. Just dodge a little bit here. Put the box. I'm waiting for him to come through the front. They don't. We get the fear. Oh, she's so lucky there. But somehow I get Zyra. <laughs> and now it's one on one. Oh, and we get the double worth. Go two for two. I'm getting fed. I come right out the box with a brutalizer. Right out the box. Mint condition. So now we're looking fat. And we get the, uh, what are those things? The grubbies? We get the grubbies. Check in mid. I kind of want to get Zyra fed because uh, she's kind of broken, guys, if you didn't know. Kind of broken. So we're looking mid. Plus Talia doesn't really have that much to uh, to use against me. I mean, yeah, she has her, her W, but like that's easy to get around. I'm looking for her. I'm trying to look. I get her. See the echo. Surprised he didn't see me. Boom, 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 boom. Stay on him. Hold your E to continue the slow. And then we just give a little clip to them cheeks. And put in the jungle behind. We are 4 1. Six minutes into this game. Oof. That's what you want to see as a Shaco. That's when you go AD. You bring the full force of your kit to life. We come here with these Qs, get them backstabs. 252, that's huge. That's like 25%. If I were to hit someone with that, maybe even more. Maybe 30% of their HP. Just gone. Bat bat. And I still have two more coming their way. So I really don't want to fight this, but if we have to, try and do something. Zyra, the knockback. And I think we get out of this alive. So that is, everything is looking really good right now but we all know things can change in a heartbeat so i also want to say here take some time as well to 
I still think you guys would be better off climbing with AD Shaco. I've played maybe, I mean, AP Shaco is good. The only problem is you have to get to like mid to late game to actually do something. Majority of the time. Not all the time, majority of the time. Because uh, you just don't have your items. You need your at, at least Leandris to really start putting out some damage. Now you can get early kills and stuff like that, sure. But, you know, it's not as typical as if you were playing AD Shaco. You can roam to the mid lane. You can even roam top. You have Hail of Blades. You have Exhaust Ignite. Like, your kill potential is really high. Assuming you, you got to land your backstabs too, guys. So, yeah. I mean, AP is fun. I do enjoy it. It's just really hard sometimes if your team starts to slack or you miss opportunities because you're not dealing enough damage. Uh, really puts you behind. So I, I've been playing a games. I think if we look at my OP.GG, like I'd play some AP games and I would constantly lose those. And I was like, you know what? Let me just continue to go AD. And AD helped me climb from mid diamond. Uh, I think I won three, three games in a row. Uh, which put me in masters or maybe two and a half two games in a row samira goes and gets blown up see ap shaco could not do that right now just could not Oof! Ooh, double knock up that was pretty good i wonder if she did that on purpose darius with the boots the swing there comes the echo slower just enough riego I think night on me. I'm a slippery dude. Come here. Farm up minions when you can on particular waves. Don't don't care if your stupid teammates ping you. Like question mark. Like why are you taking my wave? Uh, because I can. First of all, because you're not here. And number two, because it allows me to get weapons, which gives me power spikes. Oh, the echo. He's pissed. Oh, he's so mad. He had me. Botched it. He's still trying over here, though. Now that I know his game, I'm coming over here. Yeah, uh, you're not some fucking Soraka. We're not a glass shit, right? You're Shaco. You you deal damage, so obviously you're gonna want some gold if you're not getting gold. And if they're not around to get it, they wouldn't get it anyways. You want me to just let a wave die under tower? No, oh, fuck you. You're dog shit. It's my main my main point usually most of the time because they are dog shit players. Not all of them. I mean, some of you guys, some of you guys are pretty cool. You know, some of you guys, I'm like yo, let's go get a beer. But then there's some of you animals. So like, just shut up. You're like you're a waste of gold. I had a Yone that was like one six, and he's like, why are you taking my my wave? Because like, you're one in six. <laughs> it doesn't. The gold on you isn't really uh being put to use at this point in time. And of course, he wants to just uh. AFK farm top lane all games, so it was like exactly my point. The Samira coming in, she's dashing, gets the ult off, but I shut her down. I'm not having that. I'm just right there. See, no, what no people do is the Samira ult will go off and they'll try to run away. Like, you don't need to run away, just fucking kill her. <laughs> That's the best way to stop it, it's just to kill her. And the uh, Zyra here, clueless. And we shred the tower. We might get the tower. She's coming in. See, there's the exhaust. Doesn't do much of anything. Here's the Echo. Oof. He's getting shredded by them boxes, and they're weak as hell. I would have went and killed the Samara if he didn't pop red. He got lucky. They're pissed. And of course we take Bloodsong. The damage amp is really good for you and your teammates. I'm pretty sure if they deal damage to the person, it also becomes amplified. So if it does, that's awesome. If it doesn't, oh well. Uh, so for the Zyra poke, which would become obnoxious in just a little bit, I was like, you know what? Let's go with Bloodthirster. That way when I auto, I can at least heal back some HP. So I see the fight breaking out. I'm running. I see the Zyra. 552. Boom. Bam. Boom. Bop. Try to ult it. I don't know why she walked back. But we get the kill. 
Gione trying to bait this Gione. See what he does. Oof. Oh, he's going after the uh, ADC. Yeah, the Ash. Boom, boy gets popped quick. Give him the thumbs down. I think we have enough juice to take this tower down. Yep, especially with these little guys. Zyra gets in. Um, boo! Ooh, the Ash Arrow would have been huge. So we got all these little guys, and they're like, hold on a second, let me get in this thing. Yeah, motherfuckers! <laughs> They'll just queue out. <laughs> that was funny. Because Yone getting wrecked before the game even starts, homie. Boom, done. It comes to Mira. Again, exhaust, but she does have cleanse, so that's a good counter right there. Uh, I forgot about that, so we get wrecked a Ronaid. Um, but we still pick up all the kills, so it's good. And the Bloodthirster comes out. 17 mins. And look at this healing. Pretty nice. 25 per auto. Maybe. Maybe more. We'll see right here on this wave. Chink. 125. Good lord. Wait, wait 175. Look at that. <laughs> that might be pretty nice. Might have to grab that. A little sustain. I wonder if it counts with the entire thing. Maybe that's why. If it synchronizes with the profane, so when I'm hitting all the minions and it stacks that up, that's huge. It's huge. I'm just gonna get rid of that shield. You don't need that. Trust me, you don't need that. Coming over here with the flank. They don't know I'm here, Zyra. Chose to come back and get clipped. Bop, bop, double. That's me. And you know what? Look at this healing. Boom. 211. Oh my god. That's not right, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. It does stack. That's pretty damn nice. I'm not even gonna lie. Clone! I see they just took the tower, so I'm gonna push this wave. What would my fourth item be? Hmm. You can go Infinity Edge. I'll give you 60 crit. Increase your damage. You can go Sundering Sky. I, th I feel like Sundering Sky, maybe. What I like about Sundering Sky is that so for shit goes backstab to deal the damage, you gotta obviously hit them in the back. But sometimes they turn and you end up not getting in the crit. Well, with Sundering Sky, you're pre pretty much always guaranteed to crit. The first person whether you miss your cue or not so it doesn't matter what angle you come at because you're still gonna do crit damage plus you heal so if you're missing health you know you're gonna do uh i've had a lot of games where that's like that and that's essentially how you dodge her bullshit and she's dead Oh, boom, bringing the hammer down. Look at this guy. Yone, you big bad. <laughs> so I finally got my collector. We're beginning our siege. Hoping to get that purple crest going. We walking right in. Damn, son. Boom. Blew his ass up. Boom. She came right to me. Give me that. Give me that money. Now let me get the triple, guys. Come on. Let me get the quadra. Surely we get the penta. 
Oh, but he knocks him into the base. <laughs> that was a penta, and they stole it all from me. But that is how we got masters, my friends. Yes, it feels good. I always said I was a master tier player. I don't know if I can go higher, but I have reached my personal goal of what I claim to be a master tier player. Read it and weep, folks. I got tons of videos on this channel. If you guys are learning Shaco, want to see some gameplay footage, some other random stuff, go ahead and check it out. But I'll see you guys when I see you. Take care, friends.